What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics and today I have a very interesting topic to talk to you about. Um, my first book is in final edits right now with, uh, with my editor. I'm super pumped um, and I can't wait to get that out to, to, to everybody. But um, it got me to thinking about some misnomers that I had about writing. So today's, today is going to be th the topic, so that you guys are aware. The topic is going to focus around how does one write in the 21st century? How does one become a writer? How, how, how can we leave some of these archaic notions and misconceptions about writing, get down to the bare bones of it, and work smarter, not harder? So, full disclosure, uh... I wrote the the first draft of my book. Com I didn't even write. I dictated all of it. And as a matter of fact, I would say both novels that I've written for NaNoWriMo were also dictated through Dragon. Not not in in not in entirety, but in about 50/50, maybe 60/40. But, so the point is, um, what that allowed me to do was get the first draft out there. Now, I'm not here to tell you guys about first drafts and things like that, but maybe in later videos I'll touch on this. There's tons of writing advice out there, tons of really good writing advice out on the YouTube channels. Um, just find someone who kind of fits your, your niche. and and as time goes on I will continue to provide more writing stuff um, but the thing is we're in the 21st century you have to remember that the goal is not to be a writer meaning not to be typing or writing something out the goal the true purpose of a writer is to tell a story it's to instill some wisdom a lesson to the audience some what, no matter how big or how small, no matter how horrific or humorous, in the end, it all boils down to getting a story, a message from one person to the other. So right now I'm storytelling. And whenever we write, we're storytelling. Writing, one of the like well-known quotes about writing is that like 90% of writing, and Again, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but 90% of the writing is actually done in the editing process, right? So the first draft is all pure word vomit. It's, you're puking words onto the page. You're trying to get it out as fast as possible. It's like, you know, you know, pretend you have a canvas and you have to paint a dark night. Well, you could brush stroke every single stroke, or you could just take the whole damn paint thing and throw it on there and then now you have a black canvas so two different approaches both work just fine one is a little quicker than the other one is a little bit more refined than the other but the point is they both work um, in the 21st century speed rules it, it is the fast as Grant Cardone says in his foreword for um, cheetahs and zebras um, it's the fast that it's the fast predators that take out the prey. Those who rely on speed will succeed over those who are slow and big every time. So the benefit that we have with technology is that we can we have multiple forms um, that we can write our stories with. The the last few that I've used were video recording on an app called Dragon, Natural Speak. It's on my phone. Most of you guys who have a smartphone, um, probably, well, if you don't have it, it's really quick download. And what I would do is I would, you know, whether it was a scene or a chapter or just a few lines that I wanted to do, I would just, whenever something popped in my head, whether I was driving to work, from work, I was sitting in, you know, the, uh, the restaurant waiting for my food, I would just sit down, 
you know, sp speak into the microphone. Sometimes I would take walks at the park, and within no time, I mean, just tons and tons of content just spewing out, right? And the, the point is, you get that rough draft. Now you have the story. Now you can start to, it, that rough draft, it's kind of like if you were a sculptor, it's the, the boulder. Now you have the boulder. Now you have to sculpt and chip away, chip away at it. And that's the editing process. And so now when you go back to edit, that's when you can really start to like, you know, wordsmith and look at it from different angles and things like that. But um, the one of the big things I wanted to instill on you guys is that don't be afraid for your rough draft to use things, use technology to your advantage. Um, I think for my next one, for the next books that I write, I'm actually going to talk into a video recorder because, um, and the reason is, like YouTube, for example, it will provide a timed transcript for everything that you use, right? So then you can take that, take the timestamps out, and you can start to edit that way. If For those of you that can afford it, you can have someone else, a YouTube transcriptionist, take the transcript, do all the, that work for you, and even put it into like paragraph format. So that like, you know, the periods are there, the the all the words are spelled any of your ums and ahs and pauses and and little things are taken out and then 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 that's a truly like great first draft for you to then go into and start editing and then once you put in you know whatever edits you want then you can forward it over to an editor um and so this brings up another great thing right there there are editors that you can find for hire freelance editors on Elance um, and tons of other places you guys can look into that like all you have to do is like look up freelance editing and tons of stuff is tons of stuff will come up but the point is um, while you're going through this process you're probably at one point or another gonna say to yourself well okay how am I a writer if if um, if I'm not actually writing any of this, if all I'm doing is speaking, you have to remember, like I said before, writing, it's just an action. Anybody can write. The reason why some writers are more famous than others isn't because of their writing. It's because of their storytelling, their ability to tr to take a story and make it into something beautiful that affects other people's lives, that inspires other people, that causes them to take action or allows them to learn something that they otherwise wouldn't in their normal life. Something that immerses them into a different world. So the point is um, don't focus on don't don't mistake the trees for the woods or the woods for the trees, right? If your point is to get your story on the paper and get a nice first few edits in then follow that follow that recipe you know record it whether it's video recorded or tape recorded then either you yourself clean it up and give it a few edits or have a transcriptionist do that and then go in once you once you've put all your edits in then send it to an editor and have them you know put some final touches in get it get it to the industry standard what this will allow you to do is streamline the way that you write and it will allow you to um, it will allow you to get more content out faster and like I said before speed speed rules another thing to keep in mind and I'm just gonna we're at nine minutes now but I'm just gonna keep going uh, another thing to keep in mind is so you can go in all different you can use several different methodologies for those of you that are pantsers and if you don't know what a pantser is that's someone who tells the story by the seat of their pants they don't really have any plot or anything written down they just start telling a story based off of like a character that they loved or a fight scene that they loved and it just evolves from there if you're a pantser just go with whatever is inspiring you 
whatever you know the muse is pointing you towards at the moment. If you are not a pantser, if you're someone who likes to plot, if you're a plotter, then then by all means plot out your stuff, even on even on a recorder. And then what you can do is break that shit up and decide, okay, the benefit of that is like you can say, okay, I'm not really in the mood to talk about the fight scene right now. I'd rather talk about this character because they've, you know, the muse is like really inspiring me um, to connect with this character right now. Well, then go fucking talk about that character, right? Get it out in whatever way works for you. If you're not writing uh, fiction, if you're writing creative nonfiction, then simply break it down into like chapters. You know, like, okay, this is the main topic for this chapter. The, the, these are the three sub bullets. This is, you know, whatever formula you come up with, and then just heat, hit each one and label your recorder or your video, you know, appropriately. That way when the transcriptionist comes through, they can label it appropriately. And then you just piece it all together in the end. But um, this is, a, when you look at the polymathic approach, polymaths throughout history have used technology to, to make things more effective. And I've said this a million times before, not productive, not efficient, not perfect, but effective. Um, so, so with that being said, you know, afterwards, you're going to have to tweak some things and, you know, put some final touches on it. But in terms of speed, in terms of efficiency, that is the most efficient way to get your story in words and ready for the presses as fast as possible without taxing you. So, I mean, with that, you can get stories out. You can get, you can definitely get out 50,000 words within a month because I've done that for NaNoWriMo two, year, two years in a row. And while I was doing that, I was also taking classes and doing some personal stuff on the side where I was also dictating. So you could almost double that. And for some of you out there who, depending on like your work schedule, you could almost triple that in terms of how much uh, how the words that you could get out, sheer volume um, per month. And when it comes to, to rough drafts, that's really what it, it's all about the numbers. Getting stuff on the paper so that you or whoever you've designated can work with it and tweak it until it gets into a, you know, a consumable format. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful and instructional and maybe even a little mm, entertaining. Okay, till next time, take it easy.